options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live, Friday, September 8th. Everybody's having a good day. I am hanging on by a thread in my quiet lunch trade. My stop is at 26.75. And spread's currently trading at 21. So got a tiny bit more breathing room, but really could use a bounce. Yeah, as a lot of you noticed, got a little little flushy flush there for a minute out of nowhere. I mean, it's an eight point drop, so nothing nothing too drastic. But based on where qual uh, Quiet Lunch was trading, it uh, didn't feel good. So much lower, <clears throat> and uh, I'll get stopped out of that one for Power Hour. We are looking at a straddle. Let me go ahead and buy some longs. Buying my longs in preparation to sell my shorts. Did uh, hit both profit targets on the AM ratio. Decided to get into a discretionary RIC. Not sure which one of you talked me into that one, but that's, that was a terrible trade. <laughs> uh, that one's sitting right smack dab in the valley. So not what I was looking for out of RIC today. It was probably Meech. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and blame that one on Meech. <laughs> I mean, Chris isn't here. Who am I supposed to blame it on? I, I can't take ownership for loss. That would be ridiculous. You know we don't do that around here. We blame we blame others and we blame the market when we take a loss. All right, so for tranche one, it's looking like the 4455 straddle. Give it another few seconds here. Tranche one, straddle. Here we come. 690, can I get a 690? Build at 690 on tranche one, 4455 straddle. Someone sent me a message questioning because they saw, I think they were watching the replay and they saw just my shorts on here. And so then they saw, once I had all three tranches on, they were looking at margin requirement here and they said, 
So you're using $2.7 million in buying power for these positions. So just so everyone's clear, if you're new here, no, that is not the case. I buy the longs first. I just uncheck them because they're going to most likely expire worthless. You'll notice if I click on those. Now this trade, for example, is about more like 28,000. That's what I left out, Wooga. I forgot to check my FibWAP. Damn it. Guarantee Dick K is not in the discretionary rick today. Dick K, are you are you forty thousand feet up right now too? Okay. Bringing the kids out. Okay. That's cool. A little father son bonding time. It's hard to get that one on one time these days. I know it is for me anyway. Oh, nice. At a shooting range, or are you going to knock off some living animals? <laughs> gotcha. I like shooting living animals better. Just to make sure they understand that we're still the dominant species, of course. <laughs> uh, I knew that would get somebody fired up. All right. We are in tranche one. I did uh I did enter a new time fly a little bit before power hour once we got that little downward flush wanted to get one on in case we get a little bit of a continuation lower if not if it bounces we'll obviously adjust above 4475 but look like a good opportunity to get into one i just got out of the other one today for eight percent And the S&P back down to unchanged on the day. The VIX, which was down like close to 6% at one point, it's bounced up a little bit. It's only down about three. What kind of guns are you going to be firing, Dick K? Handguns? Are we talking AR-15s? What are we talking about here? Nice. All right, the old quiet lunch. The old quiet lunch is uh, not looking so hot. Stops at 26.75, spreads at 
So much, much, much lower. And that one's going to be bye bye. Tranche one, I've oh on on tranche one. Tranche one, I do four dollar. Oh, on the uh, no. well, I'm out of the quiet lunch. Stopped on the quiet lunch. On my Friday three two quiet lunch, I have an eighteen dollar stop. Trailing. Oh, three dollar. Sorry. Three dollar credit. DK, you need to get yourself the judge. You ever seen a judge or heard of the judge again? Here's the judge. It'll it'll shoot 45 45s or 410 shotgun shells. I have this one right here. <laughs> it's big. You come walking into the house and you're not supposed to be there. That's that's not what you want to see pointing in pointing your direction. Yeah, I've got this one here with the longer barrel. Or this one, one of these two. So it's maybe the same one. Yeah, so it's a revolver, but you can put these little the little shotgun shells in there too. Gives a little kick when you shoot it. Yeah, I've shot both out of it. It's fun. It's a fun, fun little gun. SPX down to four, down below forty four fifty. Yeah, my oldest just finally he's thirteen. He just finally started getting interested in shooting and hunting and stuff. My 11 year old, we went and shot shotguns a couple months ago. <laughs> and I was trying to, you know, he's, the way he was holding it, you could see that it was up against his shoulder instead of more on his peck. And I was like, you got it. You got to put it in there. Otherwise, when it kicks, you know, you're going you're gonna to feel it. And he's he's one of those kids that you can't you can't really tell him anything. And he's, yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> and he shot it. <laughs> it was a uh, 20 gauge shotgun shot it and it kind of jolted his shoulder and uh, he didn't want to shoot anymore. So that was, uh, that was all he wanted. Yeah, you got to add a judge to your collection. Mm 
All right, getting a little bounce off 44.50 for the moment. Well, now that I got stopped out of my quiet lunch, after we get out of power hour, I'm going to need Rick to make a big last minute move. He's going to survive. And it's not looking, not looking promising. My track record for discretionary ricks is not great. I may have to give that up. Sometimes I just got to do it to remind myself that following the back test works better. Well, let me, let's see. All right, so my all-time, here's my all-time Rick stats going back to December of last year. This is everything, 71% win rate, 20K total. But So here's one that I lost 2,400 on. There was no gap up, should not have taken, so consider that discretionary. Here's one that was a small loser, same thing was not did not fit criteria. Here's one that was a winner that didn't fit criteria, $500 winner. Uh, here's one I went position size too big. These were early on. Here's one I closed too early, would have gone on to make more. Here's a discretionary one for six, $6,600 loss. Here's a $1,500 winner for discretionary. Here's an $1,800 winner discretionary. Here's a $2,800 loss and a $2,000 win for discretionary. So yeah, net, net, definitely red for my discretionary. And, and actually, you know, I mean, we'll see today. Well, I'll see tomorrow if, if the back test took a Rick because it was close with the VIX, right? There's been a lot of talk about that. Was the, at the, uh, at the open, was VIX actually contracting or expanding a little bit? And the day's not over. A winning Rick would mean a losing power hour, though. Possibly.
Five minutes until tranche two. Also five minutes until I put on my six, seven. I'm going to go ahead and get my six, seven on before. Just posted my six seven six seven. Buy some longs for tranche two. And looks like the forty four fifty straddle. Tranche to straddle forty four fifty. Trying to get filled at five ninety. Filled at five ninety on tranche two. I'm going to do a three, six and a three, five DTE double calendar also a little bit later. Yeah, I was playing around minute by minute with the different power hour entries and yeah, quite a, uh, Quite a difference between 14 and 15 for tranche two for whatever reason.
I don't recall, but for AM trades, they have CPI and PPI. Anybody have any thoughts on that? I was going to dig into that a little bit this weekend as far as AM ratios go. Anybody have any solid back testing data on skipping those days at all? Or is it business as usual? I can't, I just, I can't remember. I know I've done it before, but. CPI on Wednesday pre-market and PPI Thursday pre-market. And the CPI dates I have was for a one-to-one, -one, so I haven't done the testing with the ratio. And it was pretty average. And the last CPI date I have in this back test for blackout dates was April 12th. So I need to update that. <clears throat> So Wednesday, May 10th. June 13th. July 12th. August 10th. All 
All right, so I just posted all the uh, <clears throat> CPAD dates there if anybody wants to use that in your blackouts or your whitelisted testing. Oh, thanks, Gary. Yeah, I've got that somewhere as well. All right, so tranche number three coming up. Buy some more longs. Tranche three. And it looks like we could get the 5045 strangle. <clears throat> or it could be the 50 straddle. Getting a little bounce here, so it's looking like the 50 straddle now. Or if it keeps bouncing, could be the 5550. Looks like the fifty five fifty now. Give it another thirty seconds before I pull the trigger. It's back to the fifty straddle. All right, 50 straddle. Tranche three straddle. Four eighty. Filled at 480 for tranche three. So no strangles today, my friends. No strangles for you. So 4050, 4450, the key number today.
entering a three six <clears throat> double calendar. I right, just posted my three six in the calendar channel. <clears throat> Uh, Elliot, just saw your post in the PM channel. Are you on here? Yeah, I think it's the same situation. If it's a broken wing, Tasty is showing that as a percent of the of the debit, not of the max risk. <clears throat> Oh, is that a, a Humpty Dumpty? Sorry, I didn't look at it close enough. I thought it was a fly. <clears throat> That's the SEP 1920. Yeah, that's so it's at about 85% of. Yeah, so that's that's one where, you know, if it was way up to the upside, <clears throat> I would, you know, consider closing it because it, you know, that would be at almost max profit, but it's dead centered. So I'll give it a little bit more time. Uh, three fives and three sixes both perform really well. Um, I like it specifically this week because we've got um, – 
we've got nothing going on Monday. So that's our shorts. <clears throat> and then our longs on the five days CPI and the six days PPI. So, you know, if the options continue to expand a little bit over the weekend on the longs, that should help our, our position. So that's why I'm doing both of those. A little more exposure with those longs on those different days. All right, price hanging around 44.52 currently. 26 minutes to go. Tranche one got into it six ninety. So I'm looking for four fifteen. <clears throat> Tranche two, I got in at 590. So I'm looking for 355. So tranche one, currently trading at 560. Need some more. Still need some more to come out. Get my tranche one charted here. It's currently trading at 515, 520, looking for 415. So I need another buck. <clears throat> Got down to 440. Okay. Oh yeah, Eli, that's that's 100%. I do that all day long. 
He's got to whisper really nice commentary into the ears of SPX, and it, it'll do what you want 30% of the time. S&P, NASDAQ, Russell, all red. Dow is still slightly green. Uh, Follow-ups, no, I do not. I don't close at 50%. I've reduced my stop on tranche one and tranche two at What's everybody doing this weekend? Anything fun? My uh, my dad, who lives currently in his retirement, lives in the Philippines. He's back in town. Somebody hanging out with the old pops this weekend. Oh, you had to bring up football, didn't you, Wuga? It was a rough game last night. Our receivers, they had some stone hands last night. <laughs> yeah, Pops has a lot of foreign experience, so he, he had a, uh, he had a manufacturing company, picture frame manufacturing and some other manufacturing stuff. And so he, he would travel, he would travel over to Southeast Asia for different suppliers and woods and all different kinds of stuff. And uh, he just kind of fell in love with the whole culture over there. So when he sold his company, he retired. He moved to Thailand. He lived in Thailand for eight years and now he lives in the Philippines. Oh, stop adjust. Thank you. Did it again, did it get down to 415? I saw 4.30. I wasn't play, paying that close attention, though. Elliot, did you see 4.15? Okay. All right. I'm going to reduce my stop to 7.15. Thank you for that. Now for tranche two, I got in at 590, so I need to reduce it 355. That was the 4450. Let's 
So I'm going to go ahead and chart tranche two now. So I keep that front and center. It's down to four bucks. I'm looking for 355 for tranche two. If it gets down to 355, I'll move that stop to 555. It's currently trading a little over four. I don't know what that means, Martin G, but Trader Bianca likes it, so sounds good. Yeah, it was, just, it was the slang part that got me. I speak fluent German, but the slang, that's what got me. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do my 3.5 now as well to get that out of the way. So I can focus on power hour. Here's my reminder. I just posted my three five. Fourteen minutes till the bell. I love a good crappy risk graph on a three five. It means there's good contango. That means those back options should expand. That's my that's been my experience with those anyway. Crappier the better. Tranche two down to four fifteen. I'm looking for 355 to reduce my stop.
All right, SPX. Calm down. Everybody calm down. Simmer back down into the 4450. Getting a little too strong right now, little buddy. Ten minutes till the bell, five minutes to bounce. Elliot, do you, do you uh, attempt any pinning on straddles or only with strangles? That wasn't my question. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Four more minutes. Oh, it sure did. So reducing stop on tranche two. Thank you for uh, keeping me in check on those reduced stops. I was not paying enough attention to those. <clears throat> All right. Little couple little couple point down move will do just fine. I'm gonna move my limit on uh Tranche one to two forty. Tranche two about three sixty. No, no, whoa, 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 it's coming. About to 80. Tranche three. About 
about 250. There we go. I like the looks of this. Tranche one to ninety. Tranche three, three ten. All right, start bailing here. 310 for tranche one. Filled at 295 for tranche one. Tranche two and three are both at 4050. It's moving the wrong way. About three three forty. Build at three forty on tranche three. Tranche two. Don't run away from me. 445 on tranche two. Small winner on tranche two. Let's see, let's check it out. Tranche one in at 690, out at 295. It's a nice winner there. Uh, tranche two in at 590, out at 340. Nice winner there. Tranche three in at 480, out at 445. So small winner. All three winners, my friends. Good end to the week. September. How about September? Coming in hot after a a little bit of a rough power hour for August. All right, good stuff. Thanks for hanging with me, my friends. Oh, we got a uh, we got a Zoom chatter coming in. Dark Avenger. Uh, by the way, Dark Avenger, I usually shut down the Zoom chat, but since it's you, uh, we chat in the Zero Live chat channel while we're streaming. Uh, let's see, DC related. Are you planning to close the three six? Yeah, three six and three five will both be closed at the market open Monday. Yep. All right, guys and gals, have a great weekend. We'll be back next week as far as live streams go. Um, let's see what is today the eighth. So Monday. So Monday, I'll be streaming live in the morning at the open and for power hour. Tuesday, Wednesday is Chad in the morning. And then uh, Thursday and Friday, there will be no live streams in the morning, but power hour all week. All right. Have a good weekend. Take care.